Welcome to the finals of YCS Las Vegas 2016. Uh, I'm Michael Kohanim. I'm here with Jerome McHale and Robert Boyajian uh, in a, our final match, a Performer Pal mirror match between Adam Belarotsky, who we just saw win the last round on stream, against Manuel Alejandre Lopez Marquez. Uh, the duel is already underway, so let's jump right into it. Uh, looks like Belarotsky started off with Draco faceoff. And Luster Pendulum, the Draco Slayer, is the victor in the face-off, and he will have to decide whether to special summon it or place it in his Pendulum zone. He summons it. it looks like he's got a Solemn in his hand as well. That's pretty good. Uh, yes, a Solemn Warning. Painful Decision comes up next. This, is good. this sets up all pendulum. the... Draco combos already. Yes. So he sends Master Pendulum to his graveyard to add another copy from his deck to his hand with Painful Decision. We saw a lot of Painful Decision this weekend. Yeah, it's a fantastic card. Uh, lets you find the uh, key Draco for all your combos. Helps you search for scales when you need them. Enables Dinoster. Yeah. So he summons Master Pendulum and then combines his two monsters, sending them to the extra deck to summon Dinoster. Then he adds Master Pendulum and Performed Hollow Lizard Draw to his Pendulum Zones. So we'll let him Pendulum Summon three monsters back. All three of the current pretty Draco good, guys. Pretty good first turn. Assuming that's what he leaves it at. Yeah, so yeah, we'll, no, he can go, uh, he can Synchro Summon to Ignister, use Ignister to Special Summon another Master, overlay those two for a Magister, and then use the effect of Magister. To yep. Special summon another guy, and because the dinosaur is yet to get back a monster, yeah, he, you can use that dinosaur as the last material. Well, now he's brought back a monster with dinosaur. He brought back yes, Master Pangolin. Uh, yeah, uh, but yeah, he is nowhere near done. I think that's obvious. And uh, before he ends his turn, we also know for sure that he will be setting that solemn warning in his hand. Uh, so this is a very good start for Belarotsky. Yeah, uh, I'll bring up uh, Marquez's hand in case you want to see it. He does have a solid hand, starting out with Draco face-off, but it doesn't look like he has an answer to Solemn Warning. It doesn't look like it's going to be nearly as crazy as Bilirotsky's turn. What could happen, though, is if he can't clear out his own Pendulum Zones, he could be on the receiving end of a big Wavering Eyes. I don't think so, because he will have Dynaster. So unless he's trying to overlay that for a Felgrand, the Wavering Eyes won't do very much. Oh, that's true. Yeah, and he has the Solemn Warning to back up the Dynaster. Yeah, the Solemn Warning with uh, Marquez having no way to destroy it, uh, is troublesome. Yeah. Yeah. Belarusky is just going through the motions because of how difficult all the additional restrictions are when you uh, special summon Draco Slayers off of Dynaster Magister and ascending, making sure that. How he goes double Dynaster just double. to make absolutely certain yep. that he's not going to get hit by that big wavering eyes. Hopefully. All right. Okay, this is fine. So. Magister activates to summon back Luster Pendulum. And then, okay, and then he goes and taking his trial up. Yeah. Wow. Look at all those Draco Slayers. Does he have another Master Pendulum still in his deck? Uh, and and Felgrand. Yeah. So, so that means he that's... probably doesn't have another Master Pendulum. Yep. That's insane. Oh, he end phase. Okay. And then obviously in his end phase, he'll use his Magister Paladin's effect. Uh, I don't know what he's going to take Probably, here. Probably yeah. Joker. Joker. Yeah, all right. Skull Crow back Joker so that if something goes horribly wrong, if his Dynaster gets destroyed and then his Pendulum, monster, uh, pendulum Monsters in the zones get destroyed, he can still come back with Joker into Monkey Board yeah. into another Pendulum scale. Uh, so it's a very good first turn for Belarotsky. I mean, all this takes is some spell and trap card removal from uh, uh, Lopez, yes. and he's in the game. Yeah, Raigeki would be fantastic here, but he doesn't have it. Oh, no, no. All he Not needs is anything great. to destroy the Psalm Warning. Oh, uh, a yeah, spell and, and spell and crap would all, yes, that would yeah, also be good. Yeah, he just needs to destroy that, and then he can probably make a comeback. Yeah, but he, he, might, doesn't, he doesn't have that either. Yeah, but he actually might just be able to push. No, that's two, five. The issue that's is that he doesn't have any high scales, right? Is getting Ariadne a five or a three scale? The three, I think. Yeah, if it's a three scale, then he is stuck strictly on lower scales. No, but, but, but even, even if he does uh, successfully complete the Pendulum scales... Uh, if he gets if he pendulum summons, he'll lose out to warning. Correct. Well, by using Draco face off first, he can normal summon and try to bait out the warning with a uh, with whatever monster he gets off Draco's face off plus the monster, 
and you're basically just trying to grind through the back row before you okay, pendulum so, summon. So, so you think he was going to put uh, make a synchro summon for the pendulum summon? Uh, well, and oh, like an XC summon more so. Or an yeah. XC summon, or but more some sort of summon that will force out the Solemn Warning or otherwise threaten the Solemn Warning? Yes, but the issue is that he still doesn't have the high scale. Right. So that's the big problem, because even if he would have hit uh, Luster Pendulum there and gotten a high scale, he would have lost out on the monster from Draco Faceoff, which is the important part to grind through the trap card before you can... Uh, Kill the Dinoster and Wavering Eyes. Right. Uh, Perform Pal Pendulum Sorcerer has a Pendulum Scale of 2, while Guiding Ariadne and Vector Pendulum each have a Pendulum Scale of 3. Uh, and as you mentioned before, Wavering Eyes will not help him here with uh, Dinoster in, yeah. on the field. I mean, yeah, e even actually if he was able to destroy the trap card and go through, he still, the Felgrand's going to stop anything that could probably kill the Dynaster. 2950 well, is the, just the highest stat, right? Although I guess he could Wavering Eyes two of his own Pendulum Scales, right, to search for Correct, but then, like, card. I, I don't think that's enough to get back in the game. I think what he needs to do to get back in the game is going to be a pen, uh, Wavering Eyes for four. But I don't think yeah. he's going to be able to manage that. Yeah. Between Felgrand and the Sol Morning, this might be a pretty quick game one. Okay, so he's, he looks like he's normal summoning a Vector Pendulum to pair with his Vector Pendulum that was summoned with Draco Faceoff, right? Correct. Um, so he'll be combining them into most likely something that's supposed to bait out the Solemn Warning. There's not a whole lot of rank 4 that does that. Yeah, the issue is that Felgrand makes it so you can hold that Solemn Warning for a Pendulum Summon, so I doubt we'll see uh, Belarotsky use the Solemn Warning. Yeah, you're right. It, it's yeah, he, he has to summon something that somehow threatens to deal with Dynaster, or, well, you could technically summon anything that uh, threatens to deal with Felgrand, right? Because at that point you need Solemn Warning as well. But the issue is there's no rank 4 that really does that that Felgrand can't stop. He doesn't use... Uh, What's that? Oh no, Diamond Cramp Queen doesn't even work, right? Because Felgrim can negate it. There's no four that has yep. a stat enough high enough to just destroy the Felgrim by battle. Uh, I mean, there is, but I don't think it can attack. Okay. Can we look up uh, Crazy Box? Oh, that we is... could look up Crazy Box. That's a fun card. It's always a good time to look up Crazy Box. <laughs> so what he could have done is summon Crazy Box, activate its effect, made Belrazzi so scared that he negates it with Felgrim and then attack with yeah, the Crazy I Box. Yeah, I highly doubt Crazy Box is there. So in instead, he's deck. summoning Diamond Direwolf. Okay, so this is a card that is substantially less crazy. Yeah, uh, yeah it's, not it's not nearly as crazy. Either. And it's going to be negated by Felgrim, which keeps uh, the Solomon in play. Yep. Takes a look at the Wavering Eyes and the Solemn. So he, he's evaluating his options, of which there aren't many. I mean, he could Wavering Eyes. I don't know, he, he could place the Pendulum Sorcerer and the Guarding Ariadne in the Pendulum Zone and then use Wavering Eyes. Uh, he would get a Counter Trap Guard and he would get a pendulum monster from his deck. He can get monkey, monkey board and uh, complete the pendulum scales. And then he just uh, loses uh, yeah. out to the Psalm Warning. He does lose out to the Psalm Warning, which he doesn't know Belarotsky has. Uh, so I think this actually is his best hope of winning, so he has to make this play. We know that it's going to backfire horribly when all the cards he intends to pendulum summon go to the graveyard uh, as a result of Psalm Warning, but I think this is his only play. You're right. Yeah, he, he really has no choice here. For a second there, I thought he was going to put the Ariadne down and just set Solemn and see if he can play it for free. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that gets you anywhere. No. No. Long. It gets you to game two. All roads lead to game two. Yeah. <laughs> just some of them faster than others. <laughs> and you're usually a little happier sometimes than others, so... Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so he, he's, he's doing that play... That looks like his only real option, uh, but we know it's not going to work. Yeah, he's going to resolve Ariadne here. Uh, probably reveal a few strikes, yep. Getting the strike. So for anyone wondering, the reason uh, 
Belarotsky's pendulum scales were not destroyed is because of Dynaster Power, the my mighty Draco Slayer, which protects them. With only two destroyed, he only gets the Wavering Eyes effect for up to two destroyed. Activates Monkey Board. Uses Monkey Board to go and get another card. Goes Wither Draw. And then he's going to attempt his Pendulum Summon. And so I, I think he has to attempt to summon as many Pendulum Monsters as possible. That's really the only way that he has any hope. Pendulum tries to bring back three. And that's where the Solemn Warning and they're all gone. in. Yeah. The Ariadne still triggers though, right? It does. You oh, could get another counter trap. Yeah, but I still don't think that'll be enough. The counter traps aren't going to do very much. Interesting. Guarding Ariadne is not even a once per turn effect. Nope. Okay. So people used to use it yeah. with uh, Luster, Luster Pendulum. pendulum. Yeah. yeah. So that's cool, but unfortunately, all of these reactive counter trap guards won't do anything to a field of three powerful Ixies and Fusion Monsters. How full is uh, Belarotsky's extra deck? He has at least Luster Pendulum in it, right? It's like a pile of Draco Slayers. I, yeah, yeah he, this is probably done. He has a lot there, but we know that. I mean, he also knows none of them are actually going to make it to the field. He's strike, of the strike, traps. scolding. Yeah. Man. Destroys Lizard Draw to get one last draw. Archwing eccentric. Archwing eccentric. Um, what he needed before. Because yeah. if he would have found that one card earlier, that would have. Yeah, that would have. Yeah probably won the game yeah that's yeah that could have destroyed the solemn warning and allowed him to actually complete the pendulum especially summon. based on how Belarotsky was like responded to all of that but actually no because he needed to use his normal summon to make the diamond dire wolf so he wouldn't have been able to like even normal summon the arch phoenix centric he would have had to use it as a scale to destroy the solemn warning yeah. go like that route but yeah. he would have been able to just keep that the four monsters that made it to the field at least. Yeah. yeah yeah but I, I was more so i was going back to the wavering eyes thing i guess um, Skull Rat Joker gets normal. You no, know, why not? Belarasky throws down Pendulum or a Poor Mouse Skull Rat Joker. Let's get a Sorcerer. You know, a card I am very uh, sad to not see play anymore because of Pendulums is hmm. Torrential Tribute. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that card can't is. Can't really. Uh, overextending does not matter nearly as much as it used to. Yeah. Activates Magister Paladin. Oh, okay, so he has more than enough. He can Ignister before anything, which is right. super powerful. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to get First struck. First strike. For 1,500. It's at 65. And part of the thing with uh, Solemn Scolding is it just costs so much. Yeah. That you might just get blasted anyways, even if you negate everything he does this turn. For him to activate all three of his back rows would cost him 6,000 life points. Go down to 2,000, yeah. which is... About the same or less than the attack of many of these monsters. Yeah, I think he has yeah. to strike here, right? There's no... Oh, yeah. This is a pen he just Pendulum Summon, yeah. too, right? Yeah. Was this the Pendulum Summon, or is he using Dynaster? I believe this it is, was two. It was this pendulum is Pendulum Summon, summon because... for Master and Luster. And then yeah. what's going to happen is if he strikes, he can still use Dynaster to Special Summon back the Luster, still threatening another Ignister Summon. Yeah. And then when he goes to Synchro there for Ignister, Lopez is forced to use Scolding. But and that's then... irrelevant, because... The Felbrand will destroy Diamond Dire Wolf and Skull Crowback Joker will take out the rest of his life points. Right. Well, he's not going to have points left. So he Synchro Summons for Ignister. But there goes the strike. Struck. And now he has to pay 3,000 more to counter whatever the next move is. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So no, I understand that. So he's... That was actually really heads up. Rather striking the uh, the Ignister rather than the Pendulum Summon because this means they can't use Dinosaur to bring back the Luster Pendulum to threaten another Ignister. I'll bite. Oh, that's a good play. Yeah, I'll bite the You're Luster right. Pendulum is in the extra deck for him to Pendulum Summon next turn. He's probably not, he needs to win on his following turn or do something crazy on his following turn to win anyway, so he just needs to live this turn basically and hope. 
Yeah, that's all it takes. A, top, a hope in a top deck. Yeah. And we saw him do... Yeah, uh, we saw last we, time Yeah, we around. saw Belarotsky win that way last time. Let's see if his opponent this round is going to return that favor. 800 from Divine Dragonite Felgrand over Diamond Direwolf. 18 from Skullcrab Joker. That's 26. And another 2,000 from Dynaster is 4,600 